what's going on today, people? You already know what it is. It's your boy Tunchi, and this is YBE TV. I want to let you know you can hit me up on my Gmail at 1YBETV at gmail.com, and you can shoot me any type of questions you want to. It does not have to only be about trucking, but you can always hit me up with any trucking questions that you got. If I know, I'll let you know. If I don't know, i hit you on the email back and let you know. Just be patient with the response. All right, the first thing I want to say is um, healthy eating, man. I want to get into that, then I'm going to read a question. So this one's going to be a little bit longer. Right now, I'm eating some oatmeal. This is my breakfast for the day. Of course, I already had my smoothie, you know, kale, avocado, spinach. You already know, smoothie. And now, I'm eating a little oatmeal with a little granola in it. Um, later on today, this is my lunch, man. It's crazy. This is my lunch. My lady uh, made this. These right here are falafel balls, man. It's crazy. So I'll just ball it up, drop that in there. And this is zoodles, man. Zoodles. These are zucchini noodles, man. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to drop a little bit of the pasta sauce on that. You already know. And then you know you got to hit it with the go veggie vegan parmesan cheese. No milk in that, man. And it's, it's zero fat. None GMO, no cholesterol. And the awesome thing is, two tablespoons is only 20 calories. That's dope. Gotta have my classic French dressing. You already know. Uh, and this right here is me uh, salad. You know, you gotta have your spinach. This right here is Swiss chard, spinach, and you know what I'm saying? Baby spinach, spinach, baby spinach, Swiss chard. Uh, this actually has... Um, a corn, mushrooms, and the stuff that hummus is made out of. I don't know why I can't think of it. Uh, chickpeas, chickpeas. So that was that. You know what I'm saying? Let me grab the tablet. That was that. And basically, I just wanted to give you that to let you know, man, like it ain't no excuses out here, fellas. You can still eat healthy on the road. You just got to prep your ass off. And if you over the road, you go and you prep big ass meals and you put them, even if you got to freeze them and put them in your freezer on the truck, just prep your meals and get them together, throw them out for the day and just meal prep, man. You could definitely do it. There's no excuses. I do it. You could definitely do it. So let's get to this first question. All right. This one is going to be a long one. This one is from Alexander Carroll. It's uh, titled in a, in a modal owner operator in Chicago question. What's going on, Alex? What's going on, Tune? I've been looking for an owner-operator on YouTube for a while, and I'm happy to find your videos that are full of good content related to the trucking industry. Much respect. No problem. I live in Chicago, and I work for a lo local company, which is 15 miles from Chicago. I pull a dry van or, and or rail. Most of my work is in the state of Illinois, but from time to time, I make runs to Wisconsin and back. I put in 10 to 12 hours a day, four to five days a week. I've been thinking about becoming an owner operator for about a year now. And I came across your video and the the time you pulled the intermodal load from Illinois to Indiana and how good the money was. My question is to you, how do you get started pulling intermodal loads? Should I partner up with JB Hunt and pull intermodal or should I try to get my own authority? Do you just call the rail yards like CSX and say you want to pull loads? I don't know where to start. I hope you make a video to, of these questions, and I hope this cha your channel blows up where you get good YouTube money. Thanks, and keep up the good work. Man, bro, first off, I want to say I really appreciate you. Secondly, I could say I could generally help you. Um, The best thing for you to do is... Yes, you could call CSX. You could definitely call CXX and see what's happening and see what's their qualifications. I'm not 100% sure, but I think when you're dealing with them, you need to have so many trucks. I don't think that they deal with people with one truck. I'm not 100% sure, but the best thing to do is call. Uh, as far as J.B. Hunt, from what I understand, especially Chicago... JB Hunt running local in Chicago, you could make some decent money. I think it's between sixteen to twenty three hundred bucks per week, which ain't bad for local money. That's not bad for local money, um, especially with the work that you're gonna do. When you learn what pays the best, you will definitely be able to uh, get yourself going. But what I will say is, you know, you can't run with JB Hunt 
get used to it, but you said you already running already, so you already used to it and possibly got some money saved up. Getting your own authority. If you get your own authority, you can actually run with JB Hunt as well, and you'll get more pay. So if you do get your own authority, that's something else that you can look into. You can actually get your own authority and run for JB Hunt. You won't be under such strict, like JB Hunt is pretty strict as far as um, what they do, as far as uh, 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 what you call that, um, like they logging and all those things. And let's just say if you want to run a certain type of way and you, you know, like whatever you want to do, whatever you decide to do. You will be in more control instead of going by the guidelines and dealing with a dispatcher. You just call up, say, this is what I want. What's up? This, this, and this, blah, blah, blah. It'll be the same way, but you still won't have nobody. You won't have, like, your own. You got your own safety department, so you ain't got to really deal with theirs. Because if you hit something, it don't affect them. You're not under their DOT number. You're on your, under your own, so. You know, um, that's what I would say, and then it does open you up to, um, to have other people to run under your DLT number. So if you see somebody else running and, you know, um, they running in a motor for JB Hunt and you see that they're on the operator, you can say, hey, I could bump you up a little bit more than JB Hunt if you come on over to me and you can make a cut off them and they'll do the same job. So, you know, it's just, it opens up more doors if you would like to do that. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, the CSX, I'm not 100% sure how that works because I never really went to that avenue. Um, I'm not really good with your own authority. I know certain things vaguely, but I hope that helped, bro. You're going to probably have to shoot me another question, man. But shout out to you, uh, Alexander Carroll. And for everybody else, I want to let y'all know, man, no excuses. Get out here. Get money. Stay healthy, man. No more trucker stomachs, y'all. We got to get rid of these trucker stomachs, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I be seeing guys that's got their stomach hanging all the way past their knees, man. And we got to do better, man. We got to all do better, man. And we can all do better together. And I want to be the first person to take the first shot. You know what I'm saying? This is the shot heard around the world. Oatmeal, flax seeds, hemp seeds, and some granola for breakfast. One package. Count your calories. Stay healthy. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tunchi. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Why be? Drug dealing and killing is going on in my town. Yeah, don't take a killer to kill or a driller to drill. She just being yourself is the definition of real.